What is the acceptance criteria for concrete as per Indian standard IS-456-2000? In previous booster, I told you that in all cases, 28 days compressive tense shall alone be the criteria for acceptance and rejection of concrete. But in clause number 16, there are two acceptance criteria, compressive tense and flexural tense. Let me explain you one by one. Before preparing test result for acceptance criteria, we have to check the validation. I mean, we have to check that sample is valid or not for acceptance criteria. And IS code says here that test result shall be average of three specimen. And second, that individual variation should not be more than 15% of the average. For example, we use M25 grade of concrete in construction. Let's say strength of specimen at 28.5 megapascal, second is 26 megapascal and third 29 megapascal. An average of these three specimen is 27.83 megapascal. If we calculate the individual variation from the average for first specimen it is 2.4 percent, for second it is minus 6.57 percent and for third it is 4.20 percent. So here we can say that this sample is valid for acceptance criteria because the variation of individual sample is not more than 15 percent. On the other hand, let's say if compressive strength of one of the sample is 22 megapascal, then average of all these three will be 26.50 megapascal. Again, if you calculate the individual variation, then for second specimen, it comes out to be minus 16.98 percent, which is more than 15 percent. Hence, we can say here that this sample is not valid for acceptance criteria. Okay. If sample is valid, then we will proceed for acceptance criteria. Acceptance criteria for compressive strength is mentioned in table number 11 of IS code. Acceptance criteria will be different for M15 and M20 or above. Okay, there are two main criteria. First one, mean of the group of four known overlapping consecutive test result in Newton per mm square. And second criteria is individual test result in Newton per mm square. Okay, let me first explain you what is the meaning of these two criteria. If we represent compressive strength of all the sample measured time to time, here if I mention all these four test result as a one group and these four as another group, but this is not acceptable. What IS code says here, non-overlapping consecutive test result. So we have to choose these four that are non-overlapping and similarly next four and next four. So here first criteria that mean strength should be greater than or equal to FCK plus 0.825 into established standard deviation rounded off to nearest 0.5 Newton per mm square or FCK plus 3 Newton mm square. So we will take reference whichever value is great. Okay, let's say this is the FCK and this line is FCK plus 3 or FCK plus 0.825 into sigma. So we take value as a reference whichever is great out of these two. And acceptance criteria says that that mean of all these values should be equal or greater. Now second criteria that individual test result should be greater than or equal to FCK minus 3. Let's say these all are the individual test result and this is the FCK minus 3. If two of our results fall, one is here and another one is here. But second criteria says that individual test result should be greater than or equal to FCK minus 3. So this result is accepted here, but this one is not accepted here. To acceptance of any concrete up to M15, we have to check both of the criteria. Now for M20 or above, 
मीन ऑफ द ग्रुप शुड बी ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू एस सी के प्लस जीरो पॉइंट एट टू फाइव एस्टेब्लिश स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन राउंडेड ऑफ टू नियर एट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर और एफ सी के प्लस फोर न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर एंड इंडिविजुअल टेस्ट रिजल्ट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू एफ सी के माइनस फोर न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर सो दीज आर द टू क्राइटेरिया फॉर एक्सेप्टेंस एंड रिजेक्शन ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट सेकेंड क्राइटेरिया इज फ्लेक्जरल स्ट्रेंथ एंड वी मेजर फ्लेक्जरल स्ट्रेंथ ऑन अ बीम ऑफ वन फिफ्टी एम एम इंटू वन फिफ्टी एम एम इंटू सेवन हंड्रेड एम एम इट इज ऑफन ऑब्जर्व दैट कंस्ट्रक्शन इंजीनियर नेगलेक्ट एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट फ्रॉम अ फ्लेक्जरल स्ट्रेंथ पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बिकॉज फ्लेक्जरल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट इज नॉट सो मच इम्पॉर्टेंट इन डिजाइन वी रिप्रेजेंट फ्लेक्जरल स्ट्रेंथ एज अ टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मॉडलर्स ऑफ रप्चर and the tensile strength of the concrete is neglected but flexural strength of concrete decide the serviceability criteria like reflection of structure hence we have to look acceptance criteria from both compressive strength as well as flexural strength point of view so there are two criteria first the mean strength determined from any group of four consecutive test result exceed the specified characteristic strength by at least 0.3 newton per mm square or we can say that mean of test result should be greater than fck plus 0.3 and second criteria the strength determined from any test result is not less than the specified characteristic strength less 0.3 newton per mm square it simply means that any test result should not be less than fck minus 0.3 newton per mm square so here i explain you the acceptance criteria of concrete as per indian standard code for more detail you can visit our website makeanlink.com thanks for watching